Okay, I'm gonna preface this by saying that this is a little bit of a hack to get uh, basically layers, um, but it is doable. Epigrow has a system called verticalizations, base extensions that partners and, and SDK owners and things like that can create. So when you're in a situation where you need to merge two customizations, um, you can either recreate the customization on top of one existing one, or you can take advantage of some of these um, verticalizations and base extension techniques that Epigrow has. Again, keep in mind this is a bit of a hack, um, but basically what we will do is we will take one of our customizations and turn it into a base extension. Um, a base extension sits right above Epicor, right above base, and then your customization will sit on top of that. So let's take a quick look. I have ABC code here, and I have two customizations, first and second. So if I open first, I have the first button here. And if I go back into ABC code and I go second, I have a second button here. But I really would like both of those buttons to be available. Now, this is a simple example, obviously, but in general, you hopefully understand what I'm trying to do here. So what I want to do is I want to take the first customization and make that be sitting below this customization. So let's go back into the first customization and I'm going to go to customization mode. And then I'm going to export my customization into a folder. Okay. Easy peasy. Then I'm going to go into that folder and I'm going to open this uh, with Visual Studio Code or any uh, text editor you like. Now, there's a bunch of information here, kind of hard to read. You don't need to understand a lot of it, but the one thing you need to understand is that Epicor has this basically these five keys or six keys here to determine what a customization is. Um, one of them is the product ID and then determines whether a customization is a customization or a personalization or a base extension or a verticalization. So I need to turn this customization into a base extension. So I'm gonna switch the product ID from EP to BE. BE means base extension. The type code, I need to also switch again. It's no longer going to be a customization. It is going to be a base extension. All right. Um, and then the, the, the name, I probably want to change that to just underscore BE should do it. So now I have told the, the product is going to be a base extension, the type code is a base extension, and the, the key or the, the ID is going to change. I'm going to save that. I'm going to go back into Epicor, select ABC code, and this time I'm going to say import. And I'm going to import my newly formatted code. And I'm going to hit OK. You can see that it imported, but it put it right above here. It put it here on top of first customization BE. So now I have a base and I have my base extension on top of that. So now what I can do is I can take my second customization and I want to layer it on top of my first base extension. So I'm going to select the second customization and hit OK. It's going to bring it on. I'm going to go into customizations and I'm going to export that one out. Um, again, I need to layer this one, this customization on top of that base extension. So I can once again export my customization Go back into Visual Studio Code, open that up, and this change is much simpler. All we have to tell Epicor now is what base extension this customization is sitting on top of. So right here where key 3 is empty, we're going to replace this with a new value which is going to reference the base extension that we just created. Now the format for that um, is a little tricky, but it is just base extension oops, and then Carrot the ID of your base extension. So I'm going to go back over here and copy my original base extension ID. So it's going to be base extension carrot fresh customization BE. I don't need to change anything else. I am going to change the ID because I don't want to overwrite my original one. So I'm going to say second on top BE. Save that. Now I can go back into Epicor, close out of my ABC code, uh, oops, and open it back up. And I'm going to say import. And I'm going to go import that customization that I just modify or exported. And now you can see that I have my base Epicor, first extension or base extension, and my second customization on top. So now if I open this guy, hopefully, if I did everything correctly, 
I have both my base extension and my second customization layered on top of each other. Now, again, this is a hack. It is a uh, one-time thing. You cannot do multiple base extensions on top of each other. Um, and if you need to modify the first customization, that gets a little tricky. So you need to make sure that you keep a copy of your code here because what you need to do is basically put it back in as a customization. So turn it back into a customization, modify it, export it, re-import it, and so on. So hopefully that helped. Um, let me know if you have any questions.